This video is about thymic aplasia, DeGeorge syndrome and velocardiofacial syndrome. There will be some questions at the end. Thymic aplasia is a microdeletion of a small piece of chromosome 22, 22Q11, due to the failure to develop third and fourth pharyngeal pouches, leading to the absent thymus and parathyroids. DeGeorge syndrome has thymic, parathyroid, and cardiac defects. Wow! Velocardiofacial syndrome has palate, facial, and cardiac defects. Thymic aplasia has catch-22. C is for cardiac defects, conotruncal abnormalities, for example, tetralogy of Fallot, truncus arteriosus. A is for abnormal facies. T is for thymic hypoplasia, leading to T-cell deficiency, recurrent viral-slash-fungal infections. C is for cleft palate and H is for hypocalcemia 2 degrees to parathyroid aplasia resulting in tetany. Thymic aplasia lab findings, decreased T cells, decreased PTH, decreased calcium, and thymic shadow absent on x-ray. We cover all key points of thymic aplasia as in the first aid book. Take a moment to review it. Rewatching this video is also helpful. Let's do some questions. A 5-month-old male infant presence with recurrent viral and fungal infections, hypocalcemia, and tetany. On examination, the child has a cleft palate and facial abnormalities. The child's mother reports that he was diagnosed with a congenital heart defect at birth. A chest x-ray reveals the absence of the thymic shadow. The findings are most consistent with which of the following mechanisms? A. Nucleotide repeat expansion. B. Defect in fibrillin synthesis. C. Chromosome microdeletion. D. Abnormal ciliary motility. E. Fragile X syndrome. F. Mutation of tumor suppressor gene. The answer is, C. Chromosome microdeletion. Remember catch 22. A. 4-month-old male infant presence with recurrent viral and fungal infections and hypocalcemia. On examination, the child has a cleft palate, facial abnormalities, hypoplastic mandible, low set ears, and bifid uvula. A chest x-ray reveals the absence of the thymic shadow. These findings most likely suggest impaired development of which of the following embryonic structures? A. Rathka pouch. B. Sixth pharyngeal pouch. C. Second pharyngeal cleft. D. Third pharyngeal pouch. E. Formin cecum. F. Anterior neuropore. The answer is, D. Third pharyngeal pouch. The vignette gives most of the DeGeorge clinical and lab findings. Which of the following cardiac defects is commonly associated with the patient in the previous case and its related disorders? A. Patent ductus arteriosus. B. Atrial septal defect. C. Ventricular septal defect. D. Tetralogy of Fallot. E. Coarctation of the aorta. The answer is D. Tetralogy of Fallot. Which of the following is a potential complication of hypocalcemia in individuals with DeGeorge syndrome and related disorders? A. Osteoporosis. B. Muscle weakness. C. Arrhythmia. D. Hyperphosphatemia. E. All of the above. The answer is C. Arrhythmia. Which of the following is not a potential treatment for immune system deficiencies in individuals with DeGeorge syndrome and related disorders? A. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy. B. Stem cell transplantation. C. Thymus transplant. D. Antibiotic prophylaxis. E. Antiviral drugs. The answer is C. Thymus transplant. Thymus transplantation is still considered an experimental procedure and its efficacy and safety have not been fully established. Clinical trials are ongoing to evaluate the long-term outcomes of thymus transplantation in individuals with DeGeorge syndrome and related disorders. Other choices are used to treat and manage DeGeorge syndrome. Which of the following is not a potential cause of T-cell deficiency in individuals with DeGeorge syndrome and related disorders? A. Impaired thymic development. B. Impaired T cell activation. C. Impaired T cell survival. D. Impaired T cell proliferation. 
E. The above can contribute to T-cell deficiency. The answer is, B. Impaired T-cell activation. Which of the following is a potential complication of immune system deficiencies in individuals with DeGeorge syndrome and related disorders? A. Recurrent infections. B. Autoimmune diseases. C. Lymphoma. D. Graft versus host disease. E. All of the above are potential complications. The answer is E. All of the above are potential complications. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.